Well, this time of year, apples and pumpkins seem to be getting all the attention, right? But there's another fruit to think about this morning, pears. Our registered dietitian, Mary Snell, is here with some of the many different ways to enjoy them. We've got a lot going on here, a lot, a lot of color, going too. On. This, is actually, this is actually one of my favorite fall fruits because, look at they look like the changing leaves on the trees. We've got reds and greens and goldens and yellow, so it's a beautiful fall fruit. They're in season, Matt, so that makes them very budget friendly and nutritionally high in fiber, mm -hmm. which is great for weight control and lowering our risk for heart disease. So it's a wonderful fruit to add into your diet from about now through February. A lot of unexpected surprises there. We've yes. got a lot of unique ways to enjoy it here. This all kind of centers around cheese. It actually does. This is one of my uh, favorite ways, actually, to serve pears. Now, they can be used in any way you use an apple, but one of my favorite ways is to combine them with cheese mm -hmm. because the sweetness and the juiciness of the pears lends itself really well to cheese. And so I'm going to give you a couple combinations so as you start entertaining this season, Matt, you're going to be right on track. With the Bartlett pear, for instance, I like to pair it with Gouda. Again, that smoky flavor of Gouda goes well with the sweetness and juiciness of a Bartlett pear. Okay. And then another combination is this brown Bosque pear. I like to combine it with an aged cheddar cheese. Okay. Again, the saltiness of the cheddar combines really nicely with the sweetness of that brown Bosque, uh, the brown Bosque pear. Right, so go now, for go for that. And as you're eating that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to find and how to choose a ripe pear because a lot of consumers are a little bit confused about how do I get that, that ripe pear. Well, this Bartlett pear here, which is really common, it goes from green to yellow. This is on, the only variety that will actually turn color when it uh, indicates ripeness. So if you're looking at the, the Bartlett pear, go for a yellow or a golden one, and this will be perfect in terms of flavor and ripeness. Now, the other varieties, like the brown bosque, this red star crimson, they have to rely on a concept called check the neck. Check the neck. Check the <laughs> neck. That's exactly right. So you're in the supermarket and you're squeezing the neck. But the neck of the pear, if you apply just gentle pressure and it gives a little bit, that's going to indicate a ripe pear. So every, for every other variety except the Bartlett, you've got to use check the neck, squeeze it just a little bit, and you know that's going to be a ripe pear. And the reason, again, you want the ripe pear for that flavor, the juiciness, the sweetness, there's nothing better than a ripe pear. And like I said, I love to combine it with cheese. Yeah. What did you think of that combination? Uh, I love the cheese. Good. Be <laughs> that, that, love you love the cheese. The cheese. I'm kind of, uh, pears I'm not a big fan of, but I did really enjoy a pear with the cheese. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of getting yeah, that sweetness. A good way to hide it. Yeah. And a little bit of tip. When you're cutting pears, a lot of times they will brown very quickly. So if you have them out on a platter, you might want to sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice on it, and that will keep it from browning. All right, a lot of great tips. Mary Snell, thanks so much for joining us here at noon. We'll have more information about this for you on WTHR.com.